this kitchen. We are now in your kitchen and I am very proud of you. The custom design kitchen reflects a lot of the water. Deep blue inlays to represent the ocean and the dark hardwood of a sailboat. But you may need to look carefully to find the hidden amenities. I have my Fisher built in sites. If you don't see, everything is hand built to withstand the rigors of the seas. I'm a very heavy guy. I can hang on everything. It is very strong. Next door. A living room with the feel of an English social club. Now we are in the living room. This is my chest of it. It is a lovely place to sit. And what European B&B would be complete without its own garden? Next to my living room is the inside garden. My intention was to create a place where I feel myself happy. And for sure, people like it too. With tropical trees and plants, this Eden provides passengers with a breath of flowery days and eventually food. It's growing very fast. And I'm sure in three years it will be the olives. The garden room is also decorated with souvenirs from sailing adventures. We have a nice circus carpet. This is more than 300 years old. I buy this in Turkey. I like the elephants. The crowning feature a retractable roof, controlled by a winch from an old sailboat. When the window is open, you are out of the boat, but also you are in the boat. You can see the sky, you are free. Where will you be staying on this floating end? One of two suites, each with private bath, named after the constellations Cassiopeia and Orion. Orion is the biggest bedroom on the ship with the biggest bed specially built to accommodate Dutch guests, some of the tallest people in the world. The Dutch people, they are growing, growing, growing. For this reason, I make it longer. They can sleep well. Once you're rested, try and find a tour of the city's canals in this Dutch skiff. The city looks entirely different from the water. It's like the bodies of the north. If you have to hit one back on your boat, you never will leave the house. Halfway around the world, in Sausalito, California, an extreme houseboat with a fighting past is totally revamped into a kick-ass crib. One in. With a roof deck, two floors, and seven rooms. Offering 1,200 square feet of space and, count them, Five fireplaces. This vessel was once a World War II era balloon barge, a craft designed to release balloons to prevent low flying Japanese aircraft from firing torpedoes. It's come a long way since the 1940s. For a hint of the boat's history, just head down a spiral staircase to the living quarters on the first level and the master suite. This is the master bedroom. You can see the original portholes here. These were the old batten down your hatches kind of thing. Another nice feature in here is a gas burning stove. And it also gets pretty cool down here, so it comes in very handy. So does this, a private bathroom. This is the master bath. It's got a jacuzzi and beautiful views. Across the hall, a separate bedroom for guests to rest in comfort, with another fireplace. Down the hall, the guest bathroom is clad in marble, with a steam shower and, of course, a fireplace. It's very, very comfortable. Above the bed and baths, the main level, with not one, but two living rooms, with warm wood accents. I love the open space because it gives you the feeling you have a lot more room than you really do. Olivia's favorite room, the kitchen. I love to be here because I like to cook. <laughs> right outside, the back porch. 
this is our backyard. It's a wonderful place to have breakfast for a snack and meals. With another spiral staircase up to the top deck. With 360 degree of view and sunrise and sunset and the fog coming over the mountains, this is the ideal spot. How would you have so, Up next, an extreme houseboat gets in ship shape. Vintage pits from old ships. They are the thing that make you believe that you're on a boat when you're in this house. Aim for non-stop fun on your next day. Brought to you by Kissimmee, Florida. The gateway to fun. Minutes from Orlando. There's a secret right next to Orlando. It's about being a tourist and a local at the same time. It's about going from thrill to tranquility in a matter of minutes. It's about stretching your imagination, your life, and your dollars. And it's about feeling right at home in the middle of the most exciting place on earth. Kissimmee, the gateway to fun. Plan your vacation at experiencekissimmee.com. It's got performance with efficiency. It's got all you want in the car as alive as you are. Introducing the supercharged V6 and turbocharged four cylinder engine. It's 30 miles per gallon power. Jaguar. Faster, cooler, responsibly. Jaguar. Right now, try something extraordinary at your local Jaguar. Me, I'm Janet. Yeah, technology, arrival. With Hertz Gold Plus Rewards, you skip the counters, the lines, and the paperwork. Exactly. It's our fastest and easiest way to get you into your car. It's just another way you'll be traveling at the speed of Hertz. According to convention, vacuums need large heavy motors down by their base. But Dyson, we had other ideas. A fraction of the size, ours now goes in the handle. Balance between high and low. <laughs> No Olive Garden. Bring your appetite. Bring someone who shares your appetite for our 2 for 25 Italian dinner. Start with unlimited super salad, then choose an appetizer to share. Now for the main course. Choose two of five new creations, like new Tuscan boiled chicken, or our new canned roll Sicilian seafood lasagna. Three courses, two people, just $25. Go Olive Garden and try our new lighter fare menu. Five delicious choices under 575 calories. Since 1938, the Hammock Shops Village has been a favorite destination for locals as well as visitors to coastal South Carolina. Beneath our ancient moss reef domes, you'll find more than 20 unique specialty shops and restaurants, featuring everything from handcrafted collectibles and jewelry to distinctive fashionware. Taste tempting low country cuisine. The Havoc Shops Village. Open seven days a week on Highway 17 in Polly's Island. My HTC digital cable service connects me to my favorite shows and new release movies with video on demand. So I can watch what I want, when I want, and I can choose from more than 200 channels, including digital games, of course. I'll never miss a play for my favorite team with any season. With HTC, people will win. Because HTC connects me to the things that mean the most. HTC Digital Cable Passport. For 50 channels of this inspiration and style network, only $10 per month. HTC, this is life. Connect with us. Crypto. Worth surprising the stuff we're going to Hollywood and granting them exclusive access. Nobody gets a ride in your butt. Except us. Unsuspected travelers. Unbelievable vacations. Crypto. All new next Sunday. On top of it. Most houseboat owners are ship lovers. In British Columbia, Canada, Two owners are taking their passion to the extreme by rebuilding their floating home with pieces from actual ships. Walk with your home. Meet the Nautical Bungalow, a 1,300 square foot two story houseboat built from top to bottom with old parts from steamers, schooners, and even fishing rigs in eight rooms and three decks. 
orbitals, cowling bells, brass, and teeth. If it's on a boat, it's in here. This is the entrance hall to our home. You won't see this in most homes, but this is a port light. And you can actually open it and shut it. This is a stained glass window that we got. That was an easy for people from working in. Every time you come across something made of brass, you try and buy it and incorporate it in the glass. Brass fixtures, used for centuries on sailing vessels, aren't just for show. They actually keep this floating hull of ship shape. You get wind, and the boat starts to rock, and the doors will be going like this all the time. So we put a little cabin door up in there, and it stops the uh, doors from hanging into the board. This 650 square foot first floor combines gallery, living room, and dining room into the perfect place to batten down the hatches and cozy up to the fire. One of the wonderful features is our fireplace. Great for roast marshmallows and leaves. Even the decorations are scavenged nautical bits and bobs. Another feature we've got is a ship's telegraph. This would be on the bridge of the ship. And the captain would communicate with the engine to the telegraph. If the captain wanted to go slow ahead, he would go this way, this way, and stop it slow. Head upstairs and take a twirl up an oak staircase that literally made a dream come true. It was a childhood dream to have a spiral staircase. And when we had our home design, it was my opportunity to put this into our home. And now we're coming up to the second level of our home. On the second floor, the deck, master bedroom, and observation deck are connected by two doors pulled straight off the ship. Okay, we've seen an awful lot of these doors on tugboats and fish boats. We've never ever seen one on a floating one. So we felt very, very fortunate to be able to get two of these doors. They are the thing that make you believe that you're on a boat and you're in this house and in this room. This place even has its own crow's nest. A 550 square foot roof deck. You really don't want to go on vacation when you have a lifestyle like this. It's got everything for you. It is just so beautiful and wonderful here. It's sunny, lovely, and even when it's raining, it is beautiful. Living in a float home is like being on vacation every single day. <laughs> If you are looking for a floating pad to call your own without breaking the bank, head just outside London, where an extreme houseboat is proving houseboat winning and even be affordable in one of the most expensive cities in the world. Welcome to my house, guys, and I hope you enjoy looking around it. A 400 square foot floating oasis with a roof deck above and four rooms below. It's priced just right at around $175,000. These boats are not that expensive to buy, and it's just wonderful. I have everything where I want it, how I want it. It's half the price of most London flats, squeezing in form and function. Just miles from the city, it feels world away. So inside, living room is small but terribly convenient. It's four rooms in one, with a kitchen guest room, office, and dining room. This is absolutely perfect for my work as a writer. It is quiet, it is peaceful, inspirational view. For all those Londoners suffering from a lack of sun, try a wall of glass doors to catch any rays that do come your way. Because we get sun all day, the house gets so warm. Just take a step from the dining room, and you're standing in the guest room. Spiced up with some antique art. Around the bend, one of the greenest kitchens in town. The kitchen area is small, but it has absolutely everything that one needs. The electric plates on the top are instant heat. You've got a multi-pommy oven. Everything is designed to be as low energy as possible. Down the hall, the Queen's quarters with private en suite. This bedroom is to me one of my favorite places in the whole world. It 
just has the most amazing lights going on all the day. And to wake up in the morning, wet and feeling, it's joyous. Outside. A wraparound porch. The lower deck I keep for my private use. In the morning I just sit out, have coffee. The moment I look at this calm expanse of water, the cares of everything just drop away. And it's timeless. Up above, a 400 square foot roof deck. This is the roof that I had put on. Uh, it was one of the first things I did. I wanted some bit of greenery up here. It just gives another element to this area. It's the best seat on the Thames. Well, the amazing thing is that being within half an hour of London, it's just a slice of heaven, really. I wish you could take a permanent vacation on the water. For some folks, it's a reality. It's like being on vacation all the time. These are just any vacation homes. These are excluding hospitals. Welcome to the biggest hospital in Canada. In London, Mardi Gras. Life could be better than this. And in the Gulf of Mexico, one of the largest luxury global resorts for fishermen. We catch just about everything we see up there. Well, check out this man-made island. Made of trash. We're standing on top of the 150,000 plastic bottles. So all aboard for extreme houseboats. So, if you want to buy a floating home, here's a tip. Some of the most extreme houseboats in the world had a former life as actual ships. Just over the Golden Gate Bridge from San Francisco, in America's largest houseboat community are two of Sausalito's most extreme houseboat makeovers. <laughs> Square feet, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and three fireplaces. In the early 1900s, she was a mighty steam schooner hauling cargo up the Pacific. Peter and Connie found her in 2007, partially sunk. They've since sunk hundreds of thousands of dollars into her, breathing in new life while keeping the old detail. Welcome to the hall of the man. This is the old engine room. Also. <laughs> also. Our bedroom. Our bedroom. We have still the, the, the pulleys in place from the original steering cables. We was trying to check the spring maybe. It is correct. That is not an original. I think it's original. And um, Mama always has baths. Right next door, the power room. The guest bedroom. As you walk in it, it's first response is silence to the cold. There's no area where you get to see the architecture of the vessel as much as up And just look up to see this ship's history. Where we would have the original serial number of the boat and the tonnage carved into the beam. So it was 126 net tons. He built the bed right into the curving bow. You have so much sky. It's beautiful to open that up and look out at the stars and the moon. To sleep like a baby. Upstairs, the grand living room has a split personality. Vintage portholes from the port side. What do you want the extra 